Hey there YouTube, what's up? It is Matt Carl being the BZ3 and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own portable USB charger that's super easy and cheap to make like this one here. Alright, so there's only a couple things you need for this project. Uh, here's a USB car charger I found at the dollar store, a rocker switch from Radio Shack, uh, some Velcro, an 8 AA battery holder you can get at Radio Shack, uh, 8 AA batteries, and I found this perfect size project enclosure from Radio Shack to uh, fit everything into. Uh, so in total everything was around $10, which is an awesome deal to make a portable USB charger. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take apart the USB car charger. Uh, you can go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver to uh, split the casing in half. And it should just pop out. Alright, so uh, this main circuit board is what you're after. Here you can see there's the uh, USB port and LED to show that is on and uh, the two connections for the battery. So now you're going to take your battery holder and install the eight AA batteries. So since each battery is 1.5 volts and they're being run in series with each other, uh, they're going to give us a total output of 12 volts. Uh, so in short, we're pretty much making a miniature car battery. So depending on what type of battery holder you bought, uh, you might have to solder or connect the wires onto these two terminals. Uh, I got this nifty little connecting device for a 9 volt battery. Uh, so that just connects straight onto here. And it gives us uh, nice clean wires to connect with. Alright, so now I'm going to take my switch and some extra bit of wire and connect uh, everything up temporarily just by twisting it to make sure uh, that everything is working and uh, in the right order. And now if we turn the switch on, uh, see the light lights up for the USB charger indicating that it's in working order. So I'm going to plug in my iPhone 5 charging cable and then plug it up to here and you can see that it's charging uh, so we have everything worked out and now it is time to uh, actually install everything into our project enclosure all right so my plan for the project enclosure is to have the uh, USB port sitting right inside here uh, coming out the side uh, having the switch going to be on top and then having the uh, battery pack attached to the bottom uh, via velcro uh, so that when we put the top on we can replace the batteries without interfering with the rest of the electronics so we're going to start by marking and drilling the holes for the usb port and the switch all right so as you can see i have the hole cut out for both the switch and the usb port so now i'm going to use some hot glue and uh, secure the USB port in place and then the switch uh, comes with a little screw uh, so I'm going to install that as well. Alright so now that we have everything in place I'm going to take my soldering iron and uh, do the exact same thing that we did before except uh, solder all the joints so that the connections are permanent. Alright, so now that we have everything wired up, I'm going to take uh, some Velcro and attach it to uh, these two sides and then the uh, back of the project enclosure. Alright, now that you have everything secured, uh, you can go ahead and reinstall the back plate. It just fits right on there. And then you have four screws uh, that uh, go into it. So now it's all finished, you can go ahead and plug in your charger, make sure it's working again. There we go. And then turn it on. And there you have it, a quick, cheap, and portable USB charger that's super easy to make. Uh, it'll definitely save you whether your power is out, you're on the road, or you're just not able to get to a wall outlet. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to comment if you have any questions, subscribe for more videos, and make sure to like and favorite this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.